Hey, what's up, guys? This is the jury foreman that did a brief interview. I'm surprised she got on video. She didn't release her name, but she showed her face. Lord Almighty. Okay, so tell us how it was deliberating. It was very difficult. It wasn't an easy decision. Um, lives hung in the balance, and we, we took that very seriously. And tell us, um, was it? Oh, did you have to convince each other? Is there anything, anything like that where it was going maybe? Um, I will say... Um, both sides were well represented. Oh, okay. Tell me your name. I no. Nope. You want to tell your? Nope. That's fine. That's you can fine. You were the forewoman, though. I was the forewoman. So forewoman, good, smart choice not to give your name because these people on the internet, some of them are nutty. If you haven't noticed, they're already looking. Now you got your face on here though, but there's people are really upset with the outcome of this. Okay. Is um, there? Sorry. Was ahead. there something specific that really stuck so that you guys were debating over for that many hours? Um, the thing that really hammered it home is that she was the last adult with the gun. And that's where I'll end my my comment. Thank you. So okay. if you had heard from Ethan... You just said she'll end her comment, you vultures. I'm just kidding. Kind of. Thank you. I heard a lot of mixed feelings about the verdict parents or some of them are on high alert worried about if their kid sneaks out of their house and does something are they going to be held accountable i think some of this stuff is a little bit like much what some of these people are freaking out about i don't think it's to go and take people's guns either as some have said because if you watch the trial you know it wasn't about gun rights or taking guns it was about these parents my thought is I was leaning towards guilty at some point. I was very on the fence because of the whole foreseeability thing. I had no idea what the outcome would be. I felt like it was truly in the air. In the end, I ended up putting my vote with guilty. Now, from the outside looking in, if you see, you can check my Twitter. I've been making some posts about the trial. One of my thoughts, and I said this four hours ago, parents freaking out over the verdict, coming up with all kinds of crazy scenarios. What if your kid sneaks out at night, so on and so forth, add whatever you want to that. And I said, how about you just lock your gun and store it safely? Now, another part to me is this whole testify. Well, well, well Ethan Crumley had, I wasn't really testifying, but like, well, maybe he did testify. It was, I think during sentencing or whatever, where Ethan says that the gun was not locked. It was not locked. Now, this was not a part of this trial, so that's why I said, from the outside looking in, I feel the jury made the right choice. Is it true? Is it true that you picked that gun out to buy? Yes. Is it true that on November the 30th, 2021, that 9mm handgun that you used in Oxford High School was not kept in a safe or locked container? Sorry, repeat that. Is it true on November the 30th, 2021, when you obtained the firearm, it was not kept in a locked container or a safe. Yes, it was not locked. Now, could Ethan be lying? Maybe. Maybe he could. Could he have had forethought, like he had forethought with planning the murders of those people, the four kids? Yeah. Maybe he was already thinking about the appeal he was planning on doing this day like he's doing. And throwing the parents under the bus. Even though he took account of somewhat accountability during that trial, so maybe it wasn't forethought. But I actually believe that those guns were not locked up. Anyway, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts. Take care. Peace. Bloop, bloop, bloop.